Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to access the battery status of an Android device inside our Ionic application using Cordova plugin. We have Cordova plugin battery status which has to be installed in our application and then we need Ionic native battery status which can be installed using Note Package Manager. We have to run this both the commands from the root of the project in the command line and to the plugin battery status we have three instance members to the battery status object which is on change on low and on critical on change will watch for the battery status when there is a change in the battery level on low will get fired when the battery status is low and then when the battery status is critical on critical watch method will get work. All events in the plugin returns an object with the following proper properties. We have the level and ease plugged object. Level will return the battery status change percentage from 0 to 100 and ease plug returns a boolean value which is true or false that indicates whether the device is plugged in or not. In Ionic 2, we have two methods to the battery status. We have subscribe and unsubscribe. Subscribe will watch for the change in the battery status and unsubscribe will stop watching the battery. This Cordova plugin supports the platforms such as Amazon Fire OS, iOS, Android, Blackberry 10, Windows Phone 7, Windows Phone 8, Windows and Firefox OS. Let's have a look at how to implement this inside an application. You need to install this both the commands. I have the plugin already installed. And I have Android platform added to the Ionic project. This is a empty side menu template Ionic application. After running both the commands, you have to include the battery status. After importing, add the battery status to the providers under the component and then inject it inside the constructor. And I need to use three variables to implement my logic. The code goes here. First, I have imported the battery status and mentioned inside the providers and I have written two method check battery status as well as stop battery check to the object battery status on change function I have implemented the subscribe method in which the status returns the level of the battery level and the status whether it is plugged in or not if it is plugged in for the charge it will return the boolean value true this will be assigned to a two variables and that will be printed in my html and i have a button watch which calls 
the check battery status method so that the battery check starts watching it we'll compile the app I have implemented a little CSS. I am going to click watch. You can see the current battery level is 45 percentage and it is charging which got accessed inside our Ionic application. Hope you have learned from this video. Please subscribe.